Lydia was having her usual walk in the park after school. She was minding her own business, trying to come up with some nice ideas to surprise her little sister for the upcoming birthday. Suddenly, a boy of her own age approached her. At first, he looked shocked. And then he started making fun of Lydia for her bald head. You look so ugly, the boy said. Lydia started crying. What happened to your hair? You are so bald that I need to wear sunglasses or else I can go blind, the boy continued. Suddenly, a man called the boy from afar. Troy, come over here or we'll be late for the doctor's visit. Well, my dad is calling me. Guess I'll get out of your hair, Troy glossed, laughing. Lydia dried her tears and watched the boy walking away. Then she went home. Lydia's younger sister was waiting for her. Lydia smiled and asked, What do you want for your birthday next week, little princess? I think I already got the best gift possible, actually. She promptly replied with a smirk. Lydia was surprised. What do you mean, Lana? Mom spoke with a doctor this morning. After that last chemo cycle, it looks like I'm 100% recovered. Lydia started crying again for the second time that day. But this time, they were tears of joy. I asked mom not to tell you anything because I wanted to be the one to break you the news. Looks like you can finally stop shaving your head for helping me feeling less of a weirdo, big sis, Lana quipped. Lydia hugged her and laughed. The next day, Lydia was again walking in the park. She spotted a familiar face on one of the benches. It was Troy. For a second, she thought of changing direction. But that day, she felt so happy and relieved because of her little sister not being sick anymore that she realized nothing could have fazed her. So she just passed by in front of him and even politely greeted him with a smile. Unexpectedly, Troy wasn't as defying as the previous day. Oh, hey, he sheepishly replied. I was actually hoping to meet you again. Lydia was confused. You are such a nice person. Yesterday, here I was making fun of you. And today... Here you are saying hello to me with a smile. Guess I got what I deserved. <laughs> Lydia was now puzzled. But then Troy removed his hat and she understood what he was referring to. Troy was now bald too. What happened to you? Lydia asked. Well, yesterday the doctor found lice in my hair. There were so many that he had to shave my head on the spot. Needless to say, everybody at school today made fun of me. So I realized how hurtful my comments were yesterday. And I came here to apologize to you. So, friends, said Troy, smirking. People deserve a second chance, replied Lydia with a smile. What are you doing next Wednesday, she added. As I heard of a great birthday party happening at my place. 